Great news everyone, it seems that finally Sony has decided to listen to us. I never thought I would see it in my lifetime that Sony is actually going to care about the consumer. So they decided to ban dismemberment in video games. Oh, yeah, you weren't asking for it? Mm. Oh, that's right, no one was asking for it. Uh, well, not no one, the, the most important people were asking for it actually. Uh, the core audience of Sony, which is the Chinese Communist Party, they asked for the censorship to happen and Sony complied because the Communist Party is literally all that matters for companies like Sony. And finally, this explains a lot. I guess it now makes sense why Sony is waging a war against the Titi. It has become so ridiculous that uh, Nintendo allows more lewd games on their platform, which allegedly is targeted more towards children, than Sony. Like there have been Japanese games that showed a little bit of cleavage and Sony went like, no, no, uh-uh, uh-uh, not here. And this is not like the consumer, you know, because it wouldn't stop them from just having like a button where you click it and then there's censorship, like it covers the cleavage and then you click it and it reveals it. Or like you have a button and you enable or disable dismemberment. They can do that, but they don't give a fuck. Um, the only company that actually cares seems to be Steam. Now, I don't know if it's because they have the money to do so or simply because Gabe Newell is just an American person that still believes in fascist values like free speech and freedom of expression. Um, but they created a version of Steam for China. And I guess that one gets to be censored and uh, that, that one is going to be more in line with the views of the Chinese Communist Party when it comes to video games. And then you have the Steam client that uh, everyone else uses, which doesn't get censored by the Communist Party, but uh, gets censored by the pressure that communist journalists in the West are putting on video game creators. Hey, you're an independent creator? Uh, better cover up that booby. Don't leave that booby. No. Uh, but Sony doesn't do that, right? And now I don't know if they don't do it because they don't have the resources or whatnot, but uh, the words of the Netflix CEO just rings to mind. I saw an interview with him a couple of days ago, and he was asked about cooties. You know, he was asked, like, uh, why, why did you allow that on your platform? And first of all, he changes his stance, okay? Like, before, Netflix used to be a platform very concerned with uh, the type of movies that are on it. Uh, you know, I mean, they removed... Weren't they the ones that removed Gone with the Wind, right? So they're concerned about racial sensitivities and shit. Uh, but then... All of a sudden, it's like, no, we're just a publisher. We just publish. We don't care. You know, of course. Uh, and they said it's like America is only 7% of our user base. And this is how these corporations think. Like, they do not give a single fuck about you. Okay? They don't care. It's like America is 7%. Who cares? No, because think about it. You know, like, what, what can Americans do? Like, you already have the game journalists that will make sure you don't organize a boycott. Like, they, they have segregated the consumer base, okay? The consumer base is not united. According to the game journalists, the consumer base is, like, girl gamers, gay gamers, uh, African-American gamers, and, and they're, you know, all struggling together because people are trying to gatekeep them, and they're more concerned with uh, racism in video games and hate speech than microtransactions, loot boxes, and uh, games that are broken on launch. I mean, no one cares about that. You know, like the, the, the other important issues. Uh, so, no, you're, you're not going to be able to boycott them, okay? Uh, like, just go on any forum and suggest a boycott. You'll see people mocking and laughing and ridiculing you, even though technically you would be right. Like, that would be the only way for things to maybe change. Um, but at the end of the day, you're 7%. If they piss off China, they piss off China, then the Communist Party will shut down their entire business, in that area like they, they they can't do anything so yeah china is strong you know these companies love talking truth to power but china is too powerful so that's why you're going to see more censorship coming like more down the pipeline and uh i don't know i mean personally i think in a normal world consoles would be useless i mean what's the point in buying a console now what is it like seriously what's the point every single exclusive is available on pc I guess you get Demon Souls and maybe the new God of War, but even those might be uh, just timed exclusives. So, so what is the point in buying a console? Um, that's what I would think. But in reality, no, people bought them. Like, you couldn't find any. They were so rare. 
People would like just start trading consoles in order to buy a kidney. I mean, it, it's just... So, no, I, I mean, people still want them, but the question is, uh, how much censorship are they going to put up with? Because you notice like these Chinese communist practices just flowing down. So not only is, okay, the titty is not okay, uh, dismemberment is not okay, but now the council actively listens to what you speak. Like they have an AI, they came up and said that they have an AI in order to listen in when you're talking with your friends in voice chat. So they're collecting information from you whenever you're playing in voice chat, for instance. And the allegedly is to curb on hate speech. It's like, motherfucker, like if I'm with my friend, like, can you please fuck off? Like, okay, so if I, if I use the Sony uh, headphone to talk with my friend, I'm listening. But like, if I pick up the phone and I actually physically call him and we can play and drop gamer words over the phone, what do you do then? You're going to suck cock, aren't you then, Sony? You know, it's so disgusting, like these invasions in privacy. Like, uh, and, and it's all done. I, I'm 100% convinced at this point that it's all coming down because they want to appeal to the Chinese market. And, and probably like China requires them to monitor uh, user activity and when people are talking with each other. So they're like complying, you know, and they, they don't seem to have a version for China and a version for the West. It, it seems to go out to all the customers. Um, and, and that's why I think like it's just an opinion, you know, like maybe they're doing it for other reasons. But um yeah, it's uh, it, it, it's upsetting. Now, if you think that dismemberment only affects, I guess, games like Mortal Kombat, you would be wrong. Because there was another game that I, I personally didn't think it's going to affect it. Um, I mean, besides The Surge 2, which is, also has a core mechanic in dismemberment. But there is the Naruto Shippuden game, where you have the story, you know, the, the one from anime where Naruto's father, who is coming from Endo Tensei, and he's a ghost, he loses an arm. So they had to censor that game in order to appease Chinese sensibilities. So when you play the game, the character now has both arms. And I was thinking, you know, like that's um, going to take away from a lot of story games and story elements. I mean, you, you have uh, Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain, you know, like in that one, you lose an arm. So the, the idea of losing an arm, you, you have it in Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Like, it can be used as a core mechanic. It, it can be used as part of the gameplay, part of the story. So by, by forbidding this, you know, you would initially think it's like, okay, it's to remove violence. But you also, again, remove creativity. Like, all these censorship things, they, they remove a little bit of creativity. And, and it's just like, it's tiring. You know, like, you have to wonder, like, just... If the world is the waster when it comes for the creator and, and they can put their soul into that art, well, the world is shrinking constantly now with more and more and more things you need to censor. It's like, okay, well, you can't have titties in the video game because that's not okay. Okay, it's misogynistic. Okay, you can't have violence because that's not okay. It's anti-communistic, I guess now. It's against the CCP wishes. Man, like when I was a teenager, I liked game for sex and violence. You know, like it, it was an outlet. Like I come home tired from school. I play a little bit of Mortal Kombat, play a little bit of Bayonetta. It's just relaxing. It, it calmed me down. The future of gaming looks very, very bleak if you think about it, you know, because now, now you're going to have the American censoring and the Chinese one. And by the way, by the way, like the anime is going down the same path because you think about it and everything becomes centralized. Okay, so a lot of people go like, uh, I'm just going to pirate the anime. I don't, I don't have to buy. I no, you don't understand. There will not be the anime for you to pirate. Okay, do you understand this? There will not. What is going to happen is that if an anime studio wants to sell their product to the West and make money, they're going to be able to sell it to maybe one or two companies that stream anime. Uh, and those companies are going to have guidelines. It's pretty much the same like the West wanting to sell to China. So the Japanese studios who want to make money, because by the way, anime is not a very profitable business. Like I don't think Japan itself could sustain it. They will want to sell to these streaming services. And the streaming services is just going to decide what gets to be aired and what doesn't. So the anime studio is just not going to create something that cannot be sold. So you're not going to pirate it.
I'm going to ban it. It's a ban. Um, but not only that, like when you look at it, uh, there's another news that Netflix is training animators in Japan. You know how Western companies do things, right? Like it's not just that they have a worker. No, they need to indoctrinate them a little bit with uh, courses and training, uh, ways of life. Yes, companies that also provide morality. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the comment section. Take care. Oh, and by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way. I know it's annoying when a YouTuber asks you, but please do like, comment, and subscribe. It, it legitimately helps me, you know? And apparently, like, if you ask, people do it. And, uh, I, I, you know, usually I don't care, but it's just like, move the mouse and click. Please, please, do it for me. See you guys later.